All right, well, let's face it, as women, we love being pampered, right? And getting our nails done is one part of that. But as Elise Coulter tells us tonight in our special report, all that beauty can come at a painful price. Elise. Deborah, well, I know I love getting my nails done, but when you're at the salon, you have to pay attention to what's going on around you, because if you don't, something could go terribly wrong. Ask just about any female. I like the way it looks, absolutely. About getting their nails filed, <laughs> crimped, and painted, no matter what their age and their answer will be similar. I love my nails being done. I feel put together when they're done. 17 year old Haley Oda gets her nails done, but only for special occasions just a few times a year, and only uses shellac, never acrylic, because her mom is yeah, cautious. Course, you, know, you hear the horror stories of people, you know, getting infections and, um, the nail fungus and I could see the streak of infection. That's exactly what happened to this woman. We're concealing her identity per her request, but she tells us she went to her usual nail salon for her appointment to get her acrylic nails filled in. But soon after noticed something was wrong. And about a week later, I I realized my thumb is on fire and it, it's it hurts and it's swollen and it's red. And I showed my doctor and she's like, wait, that's an infection. She went back to the salon to have the acrylic nail removed. And we took the acrylic nail off and as she's trying to take the acrylic nail off, pus is coming out of the top of my nail. Now her nail looks like this and she fears it might not change. Do you think it'll grow back perfectly fine? Or? Oh, I'm afraid I don't know. Yeah, that's a very good question. I don't know. You just have to stop have, you know, getting the artificial nails applied. Um, you know, we have to often cut the nails back and let it hopefully reattach. Or rarely you have to have the nail completely removed and let a whole new nail regrow. Dr. Matt Bako says he often sees patients with nail issues because of fake nails. Nail cosmetics are obviously becoming extremely uh, popular um, of women of all ages. And we often see nails lifting off the skin, um, which is probably the most common thing that we see. When the fake nail lifts, it can lead to other issues. You have an opening now for um, bacteria um, and fungus, and they, they love that environment. And that would be a secondary um, complication from your nail lifting. In order to prevent that, they need to come back between two to three weeks. Pat Din is the owner of Ohio Cosmo Beauty Academy in Springfield and has been working in the nail business for nearly 20 years and makes sure his students are properly trained. How's Molly doing? You getting your manicure done? Yes. That's beautiful. There's diseases such as uh, hepatitis B can be transmitted if you don't sanitize the implements. Uh, or nail tech tools properly. There's another danger Din warns his students about. Some nail techs out there that they use the buffer too much or they use the drill uh, to, to, to remove the sign and sometimes they, they some of them they, they go too much on the real nail and that can make the natural nails weak. Din also doesn't recommend anyone under the age of 16 getting fake nails. Their natural nails still they're not strong enough to, 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 or if, you know, they, they decide to wear that for a while, it's going to thin the nails. And now going through what she has and possibly losing a thumbnail, a word of advice. The acrylics are just wicked hard on them, wicked hard on them. So I think it's good to let your nails breathe, um, be natural for a while. The dermatologist we spoke to says it's a good idea no matter what you put on your nails to let them be natural for a few weeks, several times a year. And we even dug a little further. The lines, the specks, and the ridges on your nails can tell you something about your health. To find out about that story, head to our website, abc22now.com. Jack, Deborah, back to you.